Hi, my name is Anton Budulovsky, and I'm a senior technical marketing engineer at Palo Alto Networks. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enable and use TLS decryption with the Cloud NGFW for Azure. With Cloud NGFW, you can select and use TLS certificates stored in Azure Key Vault. The decryption can be enabled on per rule basis matching specific traffic criteria. Decrypting and inspecting outbound traffic enables the firewall to examine the payload and apply threat prevention capabilities. It allows the firewall to detect malware, command and control traffic, data exfiltration, and more. For this demo, we'll emulate a virtual desktop deployed in a virtual network in Azure. The deployment is already secured using the Cloud NGFW and a Hub and Spoke topology. The traffic from the VM is routed through the firewall where the configured security policies are enforced. Let's open Azure Portal and check the Cloud NGFW resource. In order to access the certificates in the Key Vault, the firewall resource requires a managed identity. You can easily create one right in the Azure portal. Once the managed identity is created, navigate to the Key Vault and under Access Control, add a role assignment of Key Vault Certificates Officer and Key Vault Secrets user selecting the created identity. Now it's time to configure the local rule stack. First, assign the created managed identity. Then, create a self-signed certificate and select a CA signed certificate from the key vault. Under Security Services, Select the self-signed certificate to be used as untrust certificate and CA signed as the trust one. Save the configuration. Next step is to create a security rule to match SSL traffic and enable decryption using the configured certificates. Lastly, the configuration needs to be deployed to the Cloud and GFW associated with this rule stack. Now let's log into the Windows machine and attempt to access a web page using HTTPS. The web browser displays a warning about an invalid certificate. I signed this trust cert using internal CA, which is unrecognized externally. So the warning indicates that the Cloud and GFW intercepted the session and inserted this trusted certificate before reestablishing the session to the destination web server. Now let's find evidence of this in the logs. In the associated log analytics workspace, we can see traffic and decryption logs. We can also search for the specific URL that was used using Kusta query language. As you could see in this video, configuring TLS decryption for the Cloud and GFW is easy and can be done right in the Azure portal. Cloud and GFW is able to fetch and use the TLS certificates stored in Azure Key Vault. This configuration applies to Cloud and GFW that is using Azure Rule Stack for its security policy management. Thank you.